paintballs fired at a young mom and several neighborhood children. And those people are now left with welts and damage to the homes in their neighborhood. And tonight, the five young men police say are responsible for facing some serious charges. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to one of the victims. Me duele, si traigo morado. She said it hurts and it's like purple around it. The bruise on Graciela Alvarez's leg apparently caused by a paintball fired from a moving car. Por aquí, por la Friday view. We were walking and they had screamed at us. Alvarez had an infant in her arms. She and several neighborhood children were walking near Prairie View Drive and Cedar Lane when a carload of young men armed with paintball guns apparently tried to get their attention. The suspects fired a volley of paintballs. One of them, filled with orange paint, hit Miss Alvarez on her calf. My son came running into the house and freaking out that our neighbor got shot with a, a paintball gun and it freaked me out so I ran out of the house just to see what was going on and make sure my daughter was okay. Police say the suspects also targeted nearby townhomes hitting windows and siding. They also say the suspects shot a four-year-old girl in the vicinity of 35th Avenue and 37th Street. I think what's important to remember here is this incident wasn't a momentary lapse of judgment. This was calculated cruelty to shoot a four-year-old child and a mother carrying her infant. An alert citizen got a license plate number and police were able to arrest these five men. Irving Valentin, Anthony Villalobos, Benjamin Beckett, Alan Villalobos, and Christopher Ide all charged with felony menacing, third degree assault, reckless endangerment, criminal mischief, and child abuse. This is just kind of sad when people do this, but it, I, I don't... I don't think they realize how much trouble they can get into and who they could have hurt. Police say the incident was severe enough that everybody in the vehicle was charged. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.